This week on the Mind, Body, and Soul podcast with John Morris, John will be talking about suicide prevention with Gabe Nathan and everyone's favorite VW Beetle, so, Herbie. Personally, um, I'm a suicide loss survivor. Um, my aunt, my father's sister, killed herself in 2004. Um, she was living in Israel at the time, and she actually took her life at a psychiatric hospital uh, in Israel. You're not going to have very close, intimate personal relationships where you feel comfortable being vulnerable with another male. Um, so where is all that stuff going to go? Yeah. Um, you know, you take a soda bottle and you shake it up. Eventually it's going to explode. Right. Absolutely. Right. And, and I think there are people who feel threatened um, by change. Yeah. And I think that if you feel threatened, I, th I think the best thing that you can do is sit with that and think about why. Yeah. Why do you feel threatened by the fact that someone doesn't know if they're a boy or a girl? What does that have to do with you? Uh, the first night that Jim brings it home and Herbie flees by himself. He drives um, away um, in the streets of San Francisco, the foggy San Francisco streets. And, and that's where Jim Douglas finally realizes that Herbie is, is alive and, and that he needs him. Um, and so Jim goes in and chases Herbie through the streets, calling to him. And he finally finds Herbie half hanging over the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, and the symbolism of, of dangling over the Golden Gate Bridge is not lost on, on anyone who knows anything about suicide prevention in America. The, the Golden Gate Bridge is the the suicide hotspot in this country. Um, there are thousands of attempts every year. The California Highway Patrol has um, a unit that is dedicated to solely to preventing suicides on the Golden Gate Bridge. It's, it's amazing. But anyway, Dean Jones runs over to Herbie and, and hangs on his rear bumper and he screams, no Herbie, don't. And he's, he's holding on to him as Herbie's revving his engine, trying to push himself over the bridge. Um, and Jim finally convinces Herbie to not do it. He says, come on, baby, it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. And um, and that's the title of my film, A Beautiful Day Tomorrow. Take All that and so much more on this week's episode of the Mind, Body and Soul podcast with John Morris.